A Tehachapi teacher on unpaid leave for months is asking her district to give her her job back. She was put on unpaid leave back in October and is still on uh, leave today. All of this because she would not comply with the COVID vaccine mandate. 17's Marco Torres in studio now after speaking with the teacher and the district. Marco. Jim Lori Cisneros is a wife, a mother, and a teacher at Valley Oaks Charter School in Tehachapi. Her life has been uprooted since she's refused to comply with the COVID-19 vaccine mandate for teachers. Lori Cisneros has been on unpaid leave for six months. Her savings are long gone and is getting by because of her husband. This is all because she refuses to comply with the COVID vaccine mandate for teachers because she says it's her religious right. I invoked my religious exemption in October of 2021 because of my own personal, moral, and religious beliefs that I cannot do the weekly testing or the COVID vaccine. Cisneros says she's tried to work with Kern County Superintendent of Schools and provided compromises so she could continue to work. So I offered to continue masking and social distancing. I could work behind a plexiglass barrier at the front of the classroom. Of course, the most obvious one to me would be to be able to work remotely. But the district turned these down and decided unpaid leave would be the best alternative. Unpaid leave means they stopped my paycheck. Uh, they stopped my medical insurance for myself, my husband, and my children and they stopped my retirement. Everything's on hold. KCSOS told 17 News it offers employer purchased at home saliva tests as reasonable accommodations to those requesting exemption from the vaccination. But Cisneros chooses to not do weekly testing. At this month's KCSOS board meeting, trustees of the board discuss the mandate. That when you have a company that's got rules, follow them or quit and go get another job. That's all you gotta do. This is a free country. This is a free country. And you, and you don't have to work here. You know, you don't have to, you don't have to uh, follow the rules. Now, Cisneros says if KCSOS won't give her her job back, then she will continue to push for legal action. In studio, Marco Torres, 17 News. All right, thanks, Marco. Ongoing inflation and supply shortages.